The people of Pakistan have once again defied all odds as they converged in Lahore to show the unelected, imposed fascist government of Pakistan that they stand with Imran Khan. Maryam Nawaz, the illicit chief minister of Punjab, placed hurdles in the way of PTI holding their rally in Lahore. From last-minute venue changes to containers placed across the city to block roads to mass arrests of leaders, workers and supporters of the party, there was no act of fascism that the insecure Punjab government did not employ to stop people from reaching the venue. However, the people of Punjab had shown the world once again that they are ready to cross all hurdles, bear all hardships, but will stand resolutely behind their leader Imran Khan and fight for the freedom from the political mafia holding Pakistan hostage. The Punjab government did not stop issuing warrants for the arrest of party leaders even while the rally was peacefully continuing in the assigned venue. They turned off lights, putting the lives at risk of the thousands of women, children and the elderly at the rally. The internet was throttled, making communication extremely difficult. Addressing the massive rally, interim chairman PTI, Barrister Gohar Ali Khan said that Imran Khan's people, the Pakistani people, will not accept anything short of complete democracy. He called on the regime to shun their personal egos and let the people decide their future. Later, while speaking with reporters, he said that PTI did everything it could to operate within the law and the unreasonable conditions imposed by the Punjab administration. But the illegitimately installed representatives of the undeclared martial law regime still made a failed attempt to hide the light of democracy under the darkness of fascism. In his message, the chief minister of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Ali Amin Gandapur, said that they do not recognize the imposed government, nor do they recognize the legitimacy of this parliament of mandate thieves. He added that he and his party do not recognize any so-called judicial package and will defend the independence of judiciary. The rally ended with Imran Khan's pre-approved message delivered via the use of artificial intelligence. In his message, the legitimate Prime Minister of Pakistan thanked the people of Lahore for making their way to the venue of the rally despite the numerous hurdles placed by the government. He said, that the goal of the rally was to protect judicial independence, democracy, and fundamental freedoms. Mr. Khan said that only the party that sides with the people's democratic rights will be judged as being on the right side of history. He once again reminded the nation that Qazi Faiz Isa is the beneficiary of the constitutional amendments proposed by the government. He is willing to sacrifice the very constitution that he had sworn to uphold for his personal gains, and in doing so, is extremely biased against Imran Khan and his PTI. Mr. Mr. Khan said that unfortunately Pakistan is once again facing the same challenges that it did in 1971 when West Pakistan seceded to become Bangladesh. He implored that Pakistan learns from history and save the Supreme Court's independence and integrity in order to save Pakistan from repeating the mistakes made previously. Mr. Khan said that the fascism witnessed today is worse than the era of dictators. He told the youth of the nation that they are the future of Pakistan, so they must do their utmost to save safeguard the country.